Hi, Simon here. Today I'm going to show you how to loosen the belt tension on your Suron. What you're essentially doing when loosening the belt tension is moving the entire motor a bit backwards. To start off with our procedure, we're going to loosen these two bolts. There's one on either side. I have pre-loosened them for the sake of this video. They are pretty tight, so you probably want something with some leverage. What I also usually do is to loosen these front screws a bit as well. Again, one on each side. It's not a requirement to do this, but it makes everything a bit easier when you move the motor. To move the motor, I have a method that is really easy, but you gotta be a tiny bit careful so you don't damage your motor. First, you should probably take a picture of this area so you can compare later how much you have moved the bolt and the tab. Now, push down this weird looking tab because that's essentially the stuff that prohibits your motor from loosening itself when driving. Some say to just wiggle this to move your motor, but it's really not that precise and I don't recommend doing it as a solution. What I do next is I take a screwdriver and stick it in between the lower crossbar and the motor and gently push the motor upwards with the leverage of my screwdriver. It really shouldn't take much force. Applying force here can damage your motor's shell. If you need a lot of force, make sure you properly loosen the bolts earlier and that the tab is in the down position. Now that the motor is moved, the belt should be looser and you can actually feel the belt tension if you poke your finger in under the belt. This belt is a bit loose now, so what I'm going to do is to take my hand and push down uh, the belt again. You may have to readjust it like we did earlier with the screwdriver. When done, you should be able to move the belt with your finger, but not by a lot. After this, tighten everything back down and we can compare the difference in sound from before. As you can hear, most of the belt sound is gone, and the bike sounds a lot less whiny. Unfortunately, removing this belt noise makes the ticking chain noise a lot easier to hear. But, replacing the chain with the belt drag will remove this noise as well, and I think of doing it. If I do, I will post a video of it. Thanks for watching, and please leave a like and subscribe for more future content.